Hey guys, so last year I made a Coraline doll of myself. My hair is not orange anymore, but this is how she turned out. She's super cute and I had a lot of fun making her. Um, so for this year I wanted to make another doll, but of Coraline. The last video there were a lot of recurring questions about how I made things and stuff, and so I'm gonna try and answer those the best I can in this video. And yeah, I'm excited to have another Coraline doll. They're the perfect combo of cute and creepy, and I love the movie. This should be fun. Let's go ahead and uh, get started. <laughs> so to make the body, the first thing you're gonna need is a sketch of your doll. You asked if I can make a template, and yes, in the link below will be templates for the doll and some of the clothes. You'll also need some wire and a pair of pliers. It looks like I unalived someone with these ones, but I promise it was just a sharpie. <laughs> some tin foil, some polymer clay, and sculpting tools are optional, but super helpful. You'll also need some fabric for the body, some fluff, needle and thread, some sanding paper, and if you have a sewing machine, that's also going to be super helpful. So I'm just taking some 18 gauge wire and I'm going to make an armature for my doll. It's essentially a metal skeleton and this is what we're going to attach everything to. I'm using the template of my doll as a guide to make sure the sizing of everything is correct. Be sure to measure slightly smaller than your template because it's going to have to fit inside of it. Once you have the length of the arm down, you're going to take that extra wire and just bring it down the torso and then take that arm and twist it. Then you're just going to repeat it on the other side. Now that the arms are done, we're going to twist down the torso, again staying within the template. Then moving under the legs, just like the arms, you're going to bring that wire up and then twist them together. If you have leftover wire, you can just wrap it around the hips a couple times and then cut any excess off. And now you have a skeleton for your doll, but her head's a little empty so we're going to fill it with some tin foil first. If it's a little small, just keep adding tin foil until it fits nice and snug. Next we're going to be sculpting her head, so I laid down some parchment paper first just to help with the mess. And then I rolled out the polymer clay nice and flat and started wrapping it around the head trying to cover all the tin foil. Once the foil was all covered up, I started defining the face shape, just adding on more clay until it looked less like a circle and more like a face. Once I got the shape of the head where I wanted it, I moved on to the features. I imprint the eyes onto the clay just to give myself sort of a map to know where to place the rest of the features. Now that I was done sculpting her face, I then put her in the oven. You guys had a lot of questions about the time and temperature of the oven. The instructions on the Sculpey I bought was 15 minutes per quarter inch of thickness at 275. I ended up baking her for about 25 minutes. Then I just pulled her out of the oven and let her cool down. Mmm, just like mom used to make. She still had some texture on her face, so I just took some sandpaper and smoothed it out. Smoothed it out. That's hard to say. Then I worked on the body. <laughs> Me working out. I just took my template and traced it directly onto the fabric. I 
cut two of those out, pinned them together, and then ran it in my show showing machine. <laughs> Sewing machine. I'm sorry, words are hard today. Once everything was sewn together, I then flipped it inside out. I used the end of a paintbrush just to help make everything look nice and neat. Oh my god. <laughs> now it's ready to stuff with fluff. To make it easier, I stuff the legs first and then add the wire skeleton. Then I fold in the raw edges around the neck and sew it together. The body of the doll is finished and we can start decorating her. For this I use some paint, some different kinds of glue, yarn, foam, buttons, fabric for her clothes, and my sewing machine. I also use some fray check. And then I just painted her face. I had so much fun painting her blush and freckles. So stinking cute. And uh, yeah, I just made sure I painted the color of her hair where her hairline would be. To apply the hair, I just cut some pieces of yarn and then took my rubber cement, painted it on her scalp, and then took my pieces of yarn and put them on her head. And I just gave her a trim to match the length of Coraline's hair. Now it's time for those button eyes. Black is traditional, but you can pick any color you'd like. Pink, vermilion, chartreuse. I'm going to glue these on, but I add stitching just to make it look like it's sewn on. You can use hot glue for this as well, I'm just using E6000 because it lets you adjust it a little bit longer after you put it on the face. And now it's time to make some clothes. To pattern her clothes, I just take my template and then trace around it. The patterns for these clothes will also be in the link below, except for the boots and you'll see why. Then I just use a piece of chalk to trace my patterns onto my fabric. Before sewing my shirt together, I just took some acrylic paint and added a few stripes. Then I hemmed the clothes by hand. I had a couple people ask me how I put the shirt on. The key to this is when you're sewing it, leave the neck open really wide so it's easy to slide her into the shirt, and then you can just sew the neck together when it's on her. Because the hood can open up and the inside can be seen, I added fray check just to keep those edges from fraying more, and then for the hood I made a lining for it. So I tried making a 3D foot, but uh, no. <laughs> so to simplify it, I think I'm just going to follow the round shape of the doll's foot and uh, make a boot that way. It won't have the toe to it, but it's way better than whatever this is.
For Coraline's hairpin, I just drew a tiny little dragonfly onto a piece of foam, cut it out, and painted it. Finally, I just used a bit of hot glue to place it on her head and she was finished! She's all done! I am super happy with how she turned out. I think she's adorable. I think just a couple days ago she was a wire skeleton with a tinfoil brain. They grow up so fast. Again, the link to those templates will be in the description below. And if you decide to make one, tag me on Instagram. I'd love to see how they turn out. Um, yeah, I will see you in the next one. Bye! Hey guys, so, <laughs> uh, um, some, uh, so, uh, uh, why are you talking so hard? Gosh, there's hair everywhere. Well, um, yeah. <laughs> and yeah, uh, um, yeah. Oh. <sighs> Breathe. Hi, Kiki. <laughs> Hi. Do you need attention? Hello. Okay. What do you think? Is it looking okay? <laughs>